Oh no, Omar. Oh. No. <laughs> My butters are ruined. God you know, damn it. Wow, you didn't even have them on for an hour. I did it. Oh, too. you got my shoes. I just did them all the time. You're gonna beat it. Yeah. Do you have a shoe cleaner? <laughs> Your feet are gonna be wet the rest of the night. Who cares? It's a night vlog, and I was very excited when I got over here until my shoes got fucked up. No, they're fine. But anyway, paper towel. Let's do that again. But anyway, I brought this. That was the plan. And then it's steakhouse time. We're exporting. What weed is that? It's uh, it's a little combination. It's a bunch of bullshit is what it is. No, no, no. It's just a uh, leftover shake from rolling. Like how you yeah, have... so it's a bunch of bullshit is what it is. Like I just said. Should I just sacrifice it to the neighbors, make their whole night on the, for the vlog, and then we'll just you roll up a normal joint? Because you know if I bring this over there. They're going to lose it. Omar, back up off my butters. They look clean again. Damn, no, you should have seen them, dog. It'll be on the vlog. Okay. My man! We brought you this. Oh my god! Look at this thing. Oh yeah. man! My man! What up? Oh, yeah. Fatty. That's a fucking joint. We're, we gotta go to dinner. We don't have time for it. Teddy said, "Give it to you guys. We can hear the music." <laughs> Teddy, you the man, dude. Yeah. Teddy, you. come home. We yeah. miss you, dude. Yeah. We miss you. No, man. he's here now. What? Elmar doesn't like me anymore. No. Elmar is like, dude, I don't just... know why. Elmar. <laughs> Enjoy it. We love you guys. Right. Enjoy it. We love yeah. you guys. Take it All easy. Right. Nice meeting you. Yeah. Peace. Okay. Omar. Omar, you hear that? You gotta be nice to me, bud. You heard it here first, Omar. <laughs> they lost it, dude, and they're they're pretty buzzed up. So he's out there dancing. You. Yes. He is, he's out here dancing. He's like, dude, homie just blesses us with a joint this big. Look at him. <laughs> Yeah, they're, they're psyched. Back up off of me. My whole left foot is wet. Yeah, well, I told Look at that Supreme workout, Matt. Can I please take that to yoga one day? Come on. Could I roll in? The whole Zen gets fucked up. Usually. Yeah. So the night vlog. I was like all excited. I was like, I'm going to cover the camera and be like, all right, do we want a night vlog? Yeah. And then open it up. What are you talking about? Knife? Knight. Like a night vlog. Like, are we gonna vlog tonight? Sure. And as I did that, he stepped on my foot and I'm just like... <laughs> I really was pissed though in the moment and Brandy was taunting me. He got my shoes dirty too. I just wiped it off with a paper towel. Yeah, well you're not wearing fucking butter Yeezys. You're wearing those Kid City socks and nobody wanted. <laughs> Jeez. This is intense. <laughs> Omar's trying to fuck your feet up. Seriously? Step on my shoes, I'll take you to the pound tonight. The ball to some fucking family of nine. Yeah. Huh? You want kids argue it over who gets to pet you? Huh? Is that what you want? No, you don't. Oh, come on. No, it was already like that. Yeah. Yeah, it's going in and out of focus. That's what your night's going to be like. Just drink it. I don't know. I have sake bombs over here talking. Yeah. What's out? Dude, he's so fucking spoiled now. Go lay down in your bed. No. Black belly, black belly, tell me a tale. Sound like a Coheed song. <laughs> tell me a tale about your betrayal. I fell in love under the moonlight. My phone just sucks now. My phone doesn't work. Yeah, mine. I call this bitch today. First of all, hey. this is how the convo went. Why are you throttling my service? When I signed up for this fucking unlimited, nobody said at a certain amount, it gets yeah, cut unlimited off. Unlimited means it's, unlimited. She goes at 22. Why'd you just throttle your brakes? Because there's a car, just making sure they're you paying attention. You don't have attention. a stop sign now. It doesn't matter, I'm a defensive Starting driver. Starting right. right. So wait, yeah. where was I? Then she goes, well, at all the plans, we cap it at 22. So there's no plan that once you go above 22, there's no cap. Have you ever heard the song by Young Thug and Future called No Cap? And she said, no, sir. And I said, you might want to listen to that one because I don't think there should be a fucking cap. Weird out here. Weird out here on the road at night. Yep. We're going to Boulder to have a bite. Steak on the plate, steak on the grill. Maybe you should offer jingles for businesses. That should totally be a jingle writer. Twenty grand. I can definitely write some jingles for some motherfucking singles. You know what I'm saying? Texting. Brad, what? what? Texting and driving? No, that guy over there is. Everybody is. It's a new thing. It's a new wave. 
Fuck your life. <laughs> Fuck your life, bitch. Brandy, call them right now. Tell them you're our secretary. Is there a Falconer Ernest Falcon Ernie Falconer reservation? This is his uh set. It's running about 15 minutes late. His uh his Tesla had a hard time starting. He had to stop and save a couple of children. If seen, call 911. Missing person. White 14 Ford Escape. Fuck dinner dog. Let's go. Oh, look, oh. there's a Ford Escape. It's like <laughs> this dude's rapping a drink for sure. Yeah, he is. Put the camera. I can't. Yeah, look, drive. Okay. I fucking paid attention to this fucking dude, dipshit you know rapping. I see dudes rapping about drink. Yeah. I get into it. I know. Well, I'd like to not die while you fucking watch someone rap to a fucking piece of shit. Do we have a reservation for 830 for Falconer? Yeah. Yeah, my husband just had a vasectomy, so he's moving a little slow. We'll be there. Thank you. <laughs> you better walk in with a limp. <laughs> that's, that's not what I said to do. What the fuck is wrong with me? <laughs> Whoa, missing person again. Imagine if you're in the car and you drive under that sign. They know. No, they don't. Just saw a sign, Larry. Joke's on them. 2013. They'll never find us. <laughs> <laughs> You know, a lady in Paris, let me tell you this, that if you don't eat the bread with cheese, it's not, it's not right. But if I was quiet in the last restaurant, I'm gonna talk loud now so y'all motherfuckers can hear me. We out here. Get some rapid action down here for you Brand. Great dining at... Black Belly, special, special experience. Make sure to come here and check it out yourselves. And if you can't hear me with the wind, you can hear me now. Fierce. All right, it is Monday. My hat does not match. Uh, this weekend has been kind of crazy. Not crazy, like, Jesus. party crazy. What? This is not where I need to be. What is happening with my life? Ugh. All right, here, this is, It'd help if I use a tripod and not just on shit stacked on top. So this week is a little crazy. This weekend was a little crazy. Not crazy, I mean I'm busy. But I also say that a lot. I drew all weekend. I've got all this stuff to work on. Finalize, button up, finish, polish, tighten down, you know what I'm saying? Basically drawing all week because... So I'm headed back to LA on Monday. So a week from today, driving back from Los Angeles, I'll still be vlogging, but I'll be gone. And during that week is when I would normally be drawing all this other stuff that I basically have to double time work this week so that I can make sure that drop schedules and everything stay where they should be going, um, you know, so that we can like survive. Uh, so that's what's going on this morning. I literally for the next seven days, six days I'm gonna be drawing a lot and painting I worked on and started finished up some painting I didn't finish up shit I don't even know what I'm talking about I started to finish this painting here but I didn't because I ran out of paint I don't have all the colors I need and I don't have the colors to mix to make the colors I need so it's a little strange because I won't be able to get the vlog up if you guys don't know Ern and Josh from Coheed are really really close friends we're all good friends but they're the closest they're in town tonight we're gonna go to their show because we always go when they're in town I won't have time to up with that being said I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to tell you about this morning before I sit here and draw all day we worked on this the other day so I gotta clean this up and get it over to scruff this morning Motherfucking balls rolling, you know what I'm saying? That's some citral glue, right there. And then I'm gonna get started on my creative process for the day, which will be drawing, painting, and doing things of the arts. All right, so uh, since I've been drawing a lot, like a lot, I woke up this morning and I got a tweet asking me the question about writer's block and artist block and drawing block or whatever. You know, like, what do I do? I'm not able to be creative. I don't necessarily think that there's a such thing. I don't think that we have writer's block. I don't think that we have any kind of block whatsoever. I think we have anxiety. Every So everything in life, you know, like relationships, art, music, just art, mostly. Anything, fucking anything, cooking, whatever. It takes time and it takes attention. This is something me and Alex talked about a lot uh, over the last couple of weeks. Yeah, just like the time that it takes to do something, the attention that you have to, to give it is kind of like what makes everything. There's this anxiety in your head when you want to tell a story, when you have an idea, you want to do something. There's an idea in your head that you might be wasting your time or it might not be cool. How many likes does it have? Was, as I tweeted today, is which 
is, are we doing things because we know what people like? There's a little bit of acceptance in that, like a search for acceptance. And if you listen to anyone like on YouTube who's ever made it, like, Fousey, and I use made it loosely, you know, he'll say like, I know how to go viral. Okay, so you know what people will watch, but that doesn't necessarily mean you know what people want. It doesn't necessarily mean you know what people need. It just means you know how to trick people. I don't know why I just had to take a shot of Fousey, but I did. But when you have artist block or writer's block, what that is is an anxiety that other people aren't gonna like the idea that you maybe don't like the idea that much, or it's simply just not worth the effort because you don't have a guarantee that there's a reward at the end of it, or that it's gonna work out, or that it's worth the time and effort. You know, there's no guarantee. I think that's what it is, and an internal conversation like, well, if I'm gonna spend four hours doing this, and there's a possibility that it's not gonna work out, and I'm not gonna be satisfied in the end, then why even do it? I should just watch TV. Sure, you know, like that, but that is your ego tricking you. A super mind trick that we play on ourselves to just not try anything at all. It's not measurable. When you sit down to draw, or you sit down to paint, or anything like that, anything creative, setting aside a a specific time is great if you can do that, but a lot of times you sit there, uh, you're not able to be creative. It's like, I have this three hours off, I'm gonna sit and I'm gonna paint and I'm gonna come up with something. And you don't come up with anything, you walk away from feeling kind of like, fuck, try to be creative wherever you are. That's why iPhones and tablets are amazing. But also realizing that creativity just flows through you at all times, not connected to your, it's just not connected to your brain exactly like that. You're not necessarily in control of your ideas. You're just trying to take them from here to here to here and then to wherever else. You're drawing, you're doodling, you're working on a beat, trying to make music. If you're piecing things together, you're not supposed to always feel like, you know like with drawing, a lot of people are afraid to draw in front of other people, shit like that. You're not supposed to feel as if everything's perfect all the time. You're not supposed to feel like everything is absolutely perfect. And then you have it all in your head like, oh, I wanna draw, I want to draw a, and this would be easy, I wanna draw a vase and flowers. I drew it. Sure. If you have an idea, an idea strikes you somewhere else you want to draw it, great. But you're not supposed to necessarily be able to sit down and draw out something cohesively and then be like, oh, there it is, I did it. You know, it's really about the time spent dumping ideas out, getting rid of all this shit in your head, dumping out ideas, and then sifting through it later, which is something that took me probably 30 years to learn. And I have friends who told me not to, and I, you know, I mad at myself for it now more than ever. For years, drawings that I did, I would just ball up and throw away, ball up and throw away. I would get so mad, I would rip it, I would just be dramatic about it. I was really just being a fucking ridiculous human for no reason. Honestly, I wanted attention for it. I wanted people to see my struggle. It's just, it's natural. You know, my real advice for being creative, and if you have any kind of writer's block, is to let your mind go. It is sense of just dump out whatever it is like if you're sitting there trying to draw and you're worried about fucking a car payment then dude draw your fucking car on fire you know what i'm saying like use whatever it is around you just to get the wheels in motion because where you start has absolutely nothing to do with where you end up. But just start. Like, it's literally just about starting. And that's every project, every day, every fucking thing that you do. Like, you just have to start. If you're sitting there looking at something and you're like, I really want to learn how to make beats. I really want to learn how to do this. Like, just, just start. Just start doing it on anything. And as far as any kind of creative block goes, man, just start sifting through those ideas one by one. In a year, you're going to look up and you're going to have a catalog of work. And then you're going to have more opportunity than you know what to do with. And that that's the goal that's you know as an artist you want opportunities that's really all you can hope for so that you can live and not be a starving artist that's my rant about writer's block and creative blockage now I'm gonna go back to drawing <laughs> okay so uh three o'clock which Ern stopped by he didn't film for the vlog because he had to film something for the friends and family because there was a hiccup in shipping and it's been a very frustrating afternoon. Hey. Oh yeah. Yes, it has been a little bit of a frustrating morning. I'm doing my best in my life to not get frustrated about things that I can't control. This is something I cannot control currently. I can move differently, you know, moving forward. I can't control it right now, so I just gotta deal with it. Refocus my mind and get back to drawing. Smoke another joint. It's a very good refocusing tool for me. Doodles, sketches, and ideas. 
Back to work. That's what's happening today on this fine Monday on Earth, August 6, 2018. I hung up some stuff too. I think I already said that today. Okay. So what I also like to do, aside from smoking weed, while I'm working on being creative, is jump back and forth between projects. I'm working on this as well. Ern brought me some more paint, just regular acrylic paint. But yeah, I do that a lot. I like switch back and forth between making a beat, drawing, coming up with an idea, work on something else, make some food, smoke a joint, just some music. You know, I like to, it's kind of like a, process you know there's no like just sit down and draw from um yeah so i'm gonna go smoke this now it's 30 i need to go all access pass bro here we go Jesus Christ. You can film all this, dude. Tour life. No, I'm not filming it. <laughs> Your fucking tour life. Moonlighting this. You get my land in, I get my dirty earned tour kit. <laughs> yeah, my beer. Yeah. Even a vape pen. Wait, let me break it. I saw it, you dropped it. Yeah, this is pretty dope. Look at some of these. They have one from the Hobbit and shit. Who are these people? There. There's a thumbnail right there. Uh, this is Gibson. Hey, nice to see you guys. See this is based on a shirt you guys got. Oh, I'm sorry. It's supposed to go there. How's it going? Hi. <laughs> How are you, my friend? Nice to see you. Yeah, yeah. and this is Gibson. How are you? Boom, boom. Yo. Josh Effort. What's up, dude? How are you, man? Chilling, how are you? I love yeah, Teddy's yeah, it's spaghetti. Teddy. It's so weird, it's just like, put up a stage with hey, me. how are you? Doing? Yeah, super weird. I didn't, good to see you. Hey, good, 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 good. good, busy. Oh, It's exactly what we asked for, not for it. Period. Oh. Maybe the opposite. The worst part of that. Let me tell you what. This rock star. Yeah. <laughs> I know being in a band has turned me into such an We're entitled little all asshole. Green <laughs> well, it's for all green ones. <laughs> it's too strong. Season. Yeah. That beer. That's why I can't drink it. I'll get drunk. I got fruit. I mean, I'll I'll what? I'm going to title the vlog What Coheed and Cambry Eats on the Road. And just do, it. <laughs> do it. Apparently, those beaches are supposed to be tits, though. All the fucking shipping stress doesn't stop me next month. Maybe when I come back from California. <laughs> It's been a long journey. She wanna see Take It Back Sunday. Yes. Alright, have fun. Funny scene, girl. I'm gonna go. I'm walking away. Walk away. Got She's just like, I'm gone. Listen you're not you're taking too long. Rock on, babe. You know, it's been a tough day. There's been a lot going on today. Got it's getting cracking up in here. I'm ready. On the Get rid of that corona. We're just on the street. Yeah. Here. Do you have a, anybody have a lighter? Yes. I ate so many fucking things. No, it'll pass. Quick out here. Oh, How are you? Nice to see you again. See you yeah. Too. Yeah. Playing in the rain like Bush at Lollapalooza. That's right. Back in the day. Green Remember? day at Woodstock yeah. 94. I was out in the crowd when it started raining at Woodstock 94, and Henry Rollins goes, Sorry, y'all, nothing we can do about the weather. The crowd loved it. They were cheering for the rain. Yeah, but didn't so, they find yeah. out oh, after that one that everybody was like oh, right. swimming around oh. and shit? Oh, yeah. <laughs> What's up, dude? Oh, hey. Hey. That? So, we're just ready to rock this show. We were just saying how much we can't wait to play right in. We're ready to hit it like right now. <laughs> have you heard somebody here to hear over radio? <laughs> no. We're at a show stop right now. We drop. We have to drop a PA because they've confirmed 50 mile an hour winds. We've stopped take back Sunday. We drop a PA. Everybody has to get off the stage. We're not in a show. We're not in an evacuation situation, but we're probably gonna want a little bit late. Maybe it wasn't like a hard. A hard hail. Well, Let's go like check it out. Hail. Let's go. Much different scene out here. Yeah, you can't put this. You can't put this in. <laughs> this is fine. Okay. Got the camera rolling anyway. Car sit. I gotta give you. Oh shit, Teddy. I'm <laughs> <Nice. laughs> How are you? Brandy. I saw her friends like Brandy. Nice. nice. I just want to give you guys a high five. That was nice. my goal for the night. Awesome. Yeah. Nice. Guys, what's going on with the weather? Uh, I don't know, sucks. man. What's up, guys? How are you oh, doing? For all you that are looking for that tattoo or content, we got to make it live. Thank you. Yup, you got it, bud. Hey. Yeah. Channel. On YouTube. I can tell my mom that, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. YouTube for years. I tell my mom nice every day. What do you? What do these statues make you feel yeah. when you first see them? Aliens. Happiness. Happiness. I like that. They look happy. It's kind of like like a Slender Man. 
It reminds me of a field trip in 8th grade. Nice. It's so like so metal. So okay. metal. <laughs> He hated me. You know, just free love and a dance and just having a good time. Oh, nice. I don't really have any thoughts on that. I haven't either, that's why I'm asking people. Social events. Here's some batteries for you, Ern. You're leaving. I'm out. Too social for me. All right. I've been here. See you later. Right. Have a good night. I'll see you in the morning. I'm leaving. Leaving you on the camera. No. Yeah. It's but getting, there's a crowd clap going down. Something's happening. Something is happening. But, oh, oh shit! <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, with uh, story so far. I tour with Coheed. Oh, no awesome. Normally, my best friend's a drummer. Yeah. I'm not out on this I'm tour. I'm Zach. Sorry, my hands are a little dirty. Yeah. That's okay. I'm Ernie. Nice to meet you. <laughs> morning all right um 8 30 a.m i am backing out here of my parking spot and headed uh actually to breakfast we got a little i guess there's a meet up with some of the people from the show last night it's quite a community so i'm gonna go check that out head over to ted's in about an hour and get this day rolling so i still have his camera i've got all the footage from last night this is kind of just a takeover vlog i may go to ted's maybe i'll just who knows where i'll go all right, let's get this adventure started. Actually, fuck Ted's. We're going. We're going out. Out here, rock and roll in the streets. Go to like Berkeley or Vegas or something. At the whole squad out here. Well, so um, as usual, I like to forget things. So forgot Teddy is getting tattooed today because that's a rare thing that doesn't normally come up and honestly the whole talk all week has been i gotta draw i gotta draw woke up this morning of course normally i hit teddy at nine i said i'm gonna let my man sleep in got a draw today let him relax then he hits me and is like oh bro what's going on with this tattoo appointment you got my camera he doesn't even know i'm out at breakfast it's not a big deal finished breakfast ironically enough our our day of adventure is going to be getting tattooed with teddy it looks like with the band it's okay Cool. I'm recording. I'm recording this whole conversation. I'm really gonna turn up now that I came. That's amazing. Did you tell the did you tell the vlog that you almost went on the road last night? No. Like a laser light hits you just right in the face, so you like saw God and the fucking <laughs> road with the bands. No, I. I see it. I can't hear it. Please give me. makes me work all the time. I just want to. I need it. Oh. That's amazing. Listen, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm at this light, but I should be there in like nine minutes. All right. All right, peace. Peace. All right. Yo, what up? Nothing, you fucking Benjamin Button memento ass motherfucker. Oh, I've already worn the camera. It's about to be lit in here. Waking up with Ted, because I got you fired up. <laughs> I'll be fired up. I did sleep in. I did take my time and I'm like, oh cool, I got plenty of time. Hey man, what's going on? How's your day? I'll see you in a couple of hours, man. Too busy for you. I really I'm fucking recovering from my band night last night. Totally epic night last night, bro. I was just recovering. I almost went to sound. I wasn't recovering. Almost, almost went to another show. Oh, I, was wild. I was up at 6 a.m. Oh, no. The lasers, the lights, the girls in the cutoff jeans and the bad tattoos. Oh, oh. As soon as Ern got to the show last night, he turned into fucking tour mode. Was tour mode, up, you'll like, see it. Tor, he has a tour walk. He has a different walk. With tour his, walk. <laughs> My motherfucking tour walk. Oh, the breast cancer awareness boost. That's not even the real shoe. Oh. They kind of look like that, but they don't look like that. There's no pink on the stripes and no pink on the inside. I don't think there's any pink on the sole either. God, so where's the pink? On that ultra boost. And there's like a little pink ribbon on the back of the shoe. Nice, so what are you getting tatted? Don't worry about it. Huh. 
This is so sick. Right. What's up, homie? What's up, Bob? How's my dude? It's already hot for you outside. You're not who you used to be. I remember this sweet young boy from North Carolina, and now you're just this asshole fucking shoe guy. It's like, whatever. Ooh. All right. Eventful morning. Oh, bad news. Oh, my God. He doesn't like doing littering. Oh, nice. He got mad at me when I walked in and said he's a on the bench. trying to look to see if this space is dead or if I'm just being stupid. I right, would better. Can sure. we turn that speaker down? Yeah. yeah. Like my struggle when I was vlogging here is every day I was like, yo, turn the music down. Fucking people are getting mad at me. And like, There's just no tourists who need to rock out at all times. It <laughs> makes them feel like they're really living the life. They don't do anything outlaw-ish. They yeah. just listen to outlaw-ish music so oh. they feel kind of outlaw. Nice. As soon as they get in their car, they buckle up. Did you see this weekend? They <laughs> fucking... fucking killed a rattlesnake this weekend, guys. That's not outlaw. Did you? Oh, you're a fucking... Fuck you. you're just, Did you really? I was you're right just next a to wrangler. Face. This guy is even... killing everything out there. Dude. Every time we come, he's got an animal. Yeah, you do have kill. an animal. You yeah, should take him to the Animal Head restaurant. Oh, yeah, yeah Buckhorn's dope, bro. See? Buckhorn. See, he already knows. He's yeah. first name basis. Dude, I tattooed there. Courtney there, bro. I did a fucking half sleep. That's my cousin. Dude, let's go tonight. That's my cousin. Dude, I'm nervous as shit right now. <laughs> Why are you nervous? <laughs> should I lay down so I don't pass out? Dude, that'd be st I haven't oh eaten today. God. Real shit. You can eat nothing? <laughs> no. Want some candy up there? I don't that's eat candy. Well, dude, dude that's amazing. awesome, man. I've been doing intermittent, bro. I've been trying to. Why? Come on, bro. You're too fucking small. This motherfucker asked me the other day he's like I should do that intermittent fast I'm like why I'm like every no, time I talk it, to it you helps you get you into want... like a ketosis type of thing because you start working out but there's no reason for you to be in ketosis I don't want to be a fucking shredded because you listen to too many yeah. podcasts that stand in you want to be shredded you don't have muscles on your body bod, my dude, dude I ran four miles last night you should see my running body. doesn't build muscles like running doesn't build muscles motherfucker running. it builds endurance fucking killing you you're not wrong you're not wrong I know I'm not wrong it's not very often that I am you're never wrong Teddy come on I've been mistaken a couple of times. <laughs> I see Abby's face and you said you're never wrong. What? Am I wrong a lot? No, I just like, I'm not really used to having you in here. So fun to you're be around. You're just picking up the vibes. She forgot how awesome I am. You need to smile, Abby. What can we put on that was Don't like tell you? her to smile. Are you crazy? You put on the Don't new, tell girls um, to smile. Don't you read her Twitter? Oh, you can't tell a girl like Abby to smile. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> it's just been eating me up. Well, you can tell me about worried about Oh, dude. I love that Jesus, like everybody jumps to that and I'm like, I'm always like, yeah, Teddy drew that. And they're like, oh, you didn't draw that? And I'm like, no. <laughs> There's all this no. other shit that's all worked oh, out. Oh, dude, it's everything. There's like a bear with a whole fucking like village behind it. Oh, yeah. dude, you know, and I'm just like, but no. But Jesus hugging me. <laughs> dude, they love it, bro. They're like, oh. <laughs> A bunch of free stuff, and then like you stole just, this app. The vlog, you were like, "Oh, I think Sager stole the other hat." <laughs> I watched that vlog, and I was like, "That was me." I mean, I give you one bang. Um, yeah, I just don't bang it on something like that. Doing selfies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a photo in the world that exists like me is that. <laughs> Stoked, Teddy. Oh, give me a hug. Yeah, thanks All for right. doing it. Yeah, let me get your babies. Okay. Give me a box of shit somewhere, cause yeah, just even my Teddy. power supply and stuff. You know what I mean? Step up in this bitch, like. That's <laughs> <laughs> like the funniest shit ever. I'll get with you guys solo, whatever. Okay, just Teddy. Call Come call over. I'm You'll be all desperate in the camera, like. What up, man? You'll be the first guest on the podcast. Yeah, podcast. come on the podcast next week. Yeah, come on the podcast Saturday morning. Nice. Does Alex know you got this tattoo? How? You posted it? Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Guard shoes. Just throw it to him. He running for that thing. He's like, just throw it in my face. I know. <laughs> He's like a horse. Wow, so close, dude. Yeah, hold on. Uh, <laughs> oh, so close. Mine? He's learned how to sidestep that little thing. Yeah, he has. He's getting good <laughs> at it. Oh. oh, so close. Omar. <laughs> Just gotta be assertive, dog. Drop it. Yes. And a good boy. Good boy. Huh? Leave it. There you go. Right. Wait. He thinks it's a game because you're trying to grab it slow. Look, Omar, drop it. Thank you. Whoa, nice. Omar, drop it. <laughs> trying to change your voice and shit. <laughs> drop. Oh, oh. Oh. 
Drop it. No more. Drop the disc. <laughs> Wait. All right, um, this battery's dying, but that's pretty much the day. That's actually the last couple of days because I couldn't, y you know, vlog stuff, life stuff. But, uh, and on stuff. Like, push this up tonight. This looks so washed out in this room. Ordered some groceries so I can get some food in the house because we're looking pretty bare in here. I gotta clean my kitchen because I have to do it every single day, basically. Omar is, I bet, laying on the porch. Oh, he's not laying on the porch. What are you doing? What are you getting into? We're not playing with your frisbee. Just because I'm out here doesn't mean it's game time. Why are you walking like that? Come here, come here. Omar, come here. Omar. Come here. Yeah, you're hobbling, dude. Stop. This is not a fucking game. Come here. Dude, you're hobbling. What the fuck? All right, you need to go lay down. Uh, yeah, so I don't know. Omar has got a little limp, but it's probably just from fucking running around and being crazy. Who knows? Oh, we'll make sure to keep an eye on that. Yeah, that's pretty much the day. Like I've said, I think a few times this vlog, this whole week is just drawing, 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 drawing. Yes, I got tattooed today. You saw that. People don't know this, but Alex has my name tattooed on her and has for a little while. So it was just time. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the day. Cause I got a lot of editing to do. I'm gonna wait on my groceries and eat. Go to my goddamn gym outside. Cause I've been able to fucking lift weights in like two goddamn weeks. Slip, slipping like a motherfucker. Since before LA. It's ridiculous. Gotta get back on it. But other than that, no shoes coming. Nothing coming out that I'm even remotely interested in right now. The new Pharrell's when they come. About it. Everything else is trash. No, there's probably stuff that's not trash that I'm not thinking about before you get offended. Sorry. But right now, nothing else is on my mind. Okay, I'm out. I'm going to draw. Peace. Oh, and we do have a drop coming soon. It's not for probably another like week, two weeks, possibly for the public. Everything for friends and family is finally coming in. So we're getting it out. They're going to have it, you know, for at least a week before we release it to the public. Yeah, be on the lookout. Everything that's dropping is on the website already. Oh, it's teddy.com. It says coming soon. Been up there for a bit, but just to let you know, uh, there is stuff coming. We're just still working out kinks and shit. Friends and family know what's going on because they get updates a lot. Just to let y'all know, shit is coming. Promise. A lot of shit is up. Get ready. All right, for real this time, I'm out. Peace. Peace.